do if we didn't get lower utility bills? Let's talk about the false propaganda that you want to destroy a strong black man who's been fighting. And again, it's a lie that a black man walk around in this city for 20 years and don't pay no utility bill. Excuse me, your privilege has ended. And since you got me on your chest, I hope you sleep well. God bless you. And this time, I asked our uh, provider uh, uh, to uh, read the... Uh, Right. And then we would hopefully do it. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, as I stated earlier, well, Mr. Joyner, uh, Councilman Joyner, sent a series of questions that he stated verbally in this city council meeting. And we received a reply on a Friday. I asked Mr. Rogers if he'd like to communicate that to everyone, but he did not. I said, I have more questions with the information that has been presented. But I think it's only fair that his responses be noted and at least read into the public record that is here tonight that's being videoed and recorded. He said, good afternoon, council. Please note the below information. Fiscal impact of 15% increase for environmental services in parentheses public works employees. Point one. 44 out of 45 environmental services employees received an increase in July 2023. These employees received salary increases between 5% and 24%. And then he said the cost of an, of an additional 15% over top of that is approximately $150,000 in fiscal year 24. And it says, please note that this impact would be recurring and would be greater next fiscal year. The second point that was asked is, what is the fiscal impact of 6% cost of living increase for all other employees? 464 employees received an increase in July 2023. The average salary increase for these employees was approximately $6,000, and that's for 464 employees. We have close to 1,000 employees. The cost, they got no 6% cost of living. The cost of an additional 6%, that's for all the 1,000 employees, is approximately $1 million in fiscal year 24. Please note that this impact would be recurring and would be greater next fiscal year. And then the additional notes that he provided is that all employees merit salary increases, and this is merit, that means that's based upon your performance. And in, the, in parentheses, he says an additional 2% to 4% will be received no later than March 29, 2024. So these are the responses to the question that Council Member Joyner submitted and Council Member Knight um, made a motion, I seconded, and the three of us voted in support. The other four um, said no, they would not support that. So the questions that, that we have continuing, if 44 out of 45 environmental services employees received an increase in July, 2023. We'd like to know by category how much are the raises. For example, 5% to 24% is a pretty wide swing. So by category, who received what increment in those raises? The second question is by longevity. So uh, what was told to me was that our minimum wage for um, the lowest paid wage, I'll put it like that, the lowest paid wage prior to the cost study was $15.75. And then the 
uh, bottom wage was brought up to a floor of $16.83, and then an additional 5% was added to that. And so the entry-level environmental technician, which is a worker in public works or environmental services, that does not have a CDL driver's license makes seventeen dollars and sixty-seven cents. That's the starting wage, seventeen dollars and sixty-seven cents. So that might sound like we're getting to where we might want to be, but it sounds like we got a ways to go too. So what we'd like to know is in increments. By position and by longevity. Do you understand what I mean by longevity? Yeah. If you've worked in the department for 10 years or for 5 years or for 8 years or for 20 years, what happened to those workers in relation to the increase? And what we also understand, there are entire departments that received no wage increases. Please understand that. Okay, one guy's in the back waving his hand. So we understand there are firefighters or fire people in the fire department who did not get that increase. We understand there are people in the police department who did not get that increase. We understand there are people in water resources who got no increases. And there could be in other positions as well. What has been absent for the public is that we've not been able to receive information fully. So we haven't been able to have dialogue and conversation. Payroll and compensation is a complicated issue. There are always winners and there are always people who don't win as much. Why are we having this conversation? Because our manager came and started the conversation. <laughs> he came. And, and that has to fall at his feet. And we told him that directly. And he said it to us. He did this. He's the person who came and said, we're increasing threshold pay for one department to $60,000. Andre Knight did not say that. Ruben Blackwell did not say that. Richard Joyner did not say that. T.J. Walker did not say that. Lodge Dartridge did not say that. Tom Harris did not say that. Mayor Sandy Robertson did not say that. That came from the city manager's office. So this has not been politicized by this council. Come on now. This has been in response to what we told him individually, but never had the chance to discuss collectively. That while we support fair wages for every single department and we value our police department. We value our firefighters. We value development services. We value every worker that works in Rocky Mountain, no matter what they do. You've got to have public discussions around compensation. And it's not okay to create fiefdoms where some people are able to eat well and other people barely able to eat. And I do not care about the worker in another town if their council members don't think enough of them. Come on now. To share the wealth with them too. That's right. Durham workers were striking, and do we want to be here? Mm. Because they cannot afford to live. So it doesn't matter if living wage is $17 if you can't afford to live where you are. All right, now. That's why we have policies that are anti-gentrification. Mm -hmm. And just because some people can come and buy something on the cheap and put a little less expensive stuff in there and flip a house. And Come make on 100 now. 100% profit. Yeah, talk about here. Doesn't mean that's humane or right. That's right. <laughs> and we don't want to look down the road 10 years and nobody beyond a certain level can live inside the city limits of Rocky Mountain. Mm. That's why we fought for public housing in downtown Rocky Mountain when some folks said only market rate housing 
should be in downtown. Downtown should be everybody's downtown. Come on now. Mm. No public worker can live in downtown Durham. Mm. Where the average apartment is selling for a million dollars. Come on now. Come on now. We're trying to avoid that madness. Mm, mm, mm. So what we say to this manager and to the majority that's not here, not here. Mm. is that we got to work this thing through together. But you can't just say, I got the vote, I do what I want to do, and think that that's what you're going to do. Mm. No, ma'am. Mm. No, sir. Right. This is Rocky Mount, isn't it? That's right. That's right. Rocky Mount belongs to everybody. Yeah. Everybody is somebody in Rocky Mount. Yeah. And everybody deserves respect That's right. and dignity. Right. And what we have been accommodating it's foolishness. is lack of dignity. Mm -hmm to people who advocate for the poorest of those. Mm, mm, mm. I don't see no t-shirts for folk who want to buy your property for nothing. Come on now. She got on the wrong shirt. Moving your neighborhood. That's right. And patch it up and throw a sign on it. And sell it back to you. And tell somebody you now live in a good house and it mm. ain't no better than it was when they got Come on now. <laughs> my, my, my. Preach. Yes, sir. And people hear you and they see you. Mm, mm, mm. Whether you get back or not, you will not stop the people's voices. That's right. The wave has begun. It's not going. It's not changing. And you won't divide us by society. Mm, mm. You won't divide us by neighborhood. You won't divide us by social status or by what's in our bank account. Mm, mm, mm. Because there's something coming and rocking out. They ain't gonna be ready. That's gonna be bigger mm, mm, than mm, anything mm, mm. you could ever imagine. And it's gonna be an uprising of people mm. who want to see right, yeah. do right, yeah. and be right. Mm, yeah. mm, mm. And open up opportunity yeah. for everyone to prosper. Yeah, That's why we're sitting here tonight. That's why mm, 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 mm. And we'll fight till we don't have no more breath. Come on now. Are you going to fight with us? Yeah. Mm. So in the next city council meeting, will you come back? Yeah. I don't care what the elections look like. Will you come back and bring somebody? That's right. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to have different rules in the state. Right. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. But the people together would never be defeated. All right, now. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for coming so tonight. Hold it. Richard got something. Uh, before we adjourn, we have been talking. Before we adjourn, uh, since this is not a city council meeting, uh, since it's a meeting of people, our elder statesman in here, Pastor Burson. Yes, sir. All right can close us out in prayer. <laughs> Move the other one. Move the other one. Move the other mic on the other side. There you go. Come right here. Come right here. There you go. Do what you do. Man. Hey, we pray. Yes, sir. Eternal Father. Yes, sir. The father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm. The father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We come. Once more again in your presence. Yes. Mm. We come with thanksgiving in our hearts. Right. Praises upon our lips. We come acknowledging that we have sinned. Yes. 
and come short of your glory. Yes. We come, eternal Father, acknowledging mm -hmm. that you are God and you don't need no help. Mm. We come, my Father, thanking you yes. for life, health, and for strength. Yes. We thank you for eternal life. Mm -hmm. We thank you for waking us up this morning. Clothed in our right mind. Yes, sir. Having the activities of our limb. Yes. That we can move from place to place. My, my, my. We're thankful, eternal God, that you look beyond our faults. And, so and we have seen our needs. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. We are thankful for our council meeting. Oh, God, we are thankful for the men who have stood the test. We thank you, Father, for giving them the nerve and the foresight. In doing right. Yes. And loving people as you loved us. Yes. We are thankful, eternal God, for the achievement that they have made. Yes. We are thankful, eternal God, for the decision that they make. Yes. We pray that you will protect them, keep them. For we realize that the devil come to seek, to kill, and to destroy. Yes, sir. But oh, Heavenly Father, we are so grateful that you came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Oh, God, go with us tonight. Yes, Stand by us and hold our hands. Yes. Guide our feet. Yes. For we need you. We can't get along without you. Yes, yes. You've been good to us. Yes, yes. Oh, God, you've been good to the city of my yes. In all of its crookedness, yes. in all of their wrongdoing, yes. in all of their crooked ways, you've been good to us. You spared us another day. In the heaven of fire, we are thankful. We are thankful, eternal God, that you didn't cut us down. Come on now. In all of our crooked ways and crooked deals, we pray, eternal Father, that you bless that Bless Edge Cone. Come on now. Bless white, black, yellow, brown, whosoever. Bless us all, eternal God. But we all need you. Yes. We can't get along without you. Yes. Now, Father, go with us and stand by. Yes. Bless Ruben Blackwood, my Father. Yes. Give him the strength to carry on. Yes. Bless Jonah. Yes. Bless Andre. Yes. Give him more courage. Yes. Help these fellas to stand tall. Yes. Bless all the black that own the city council. Yes. And bless the white. Yes. Have them to work together, Father. Yes. But we need each other. Yes. We can't get along by ourselves. Yes. And now, Father, forgive us for our sins. Strengthen us where we're weak. Build yes. us up where it's torn down. And take our side and walk with us. Yes. Hold our hands. Yes. And when this journey is all over, when, all over. when the big bells have torn inside, yes. Oh, God, we want to hear you say, well done. You've been faithful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll make you rule over yeah, yeah. And it is in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. The Savior of the world. Mm. In his name. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Amen. <laughs> Mama. What's up, man? What's going on, man? All right, all right, all right. Council meeting tonight, but we had some preaching. Yes, sir. Ain't no way we can lose.